So today we're going to talk about the steps you might take um, to protect your gun safe from an EMP as well as to provide better shielding uh, for things inside. All right, we're going to do three different things and I'll talk through them one at a time. The first one we're going to worry about is trying to protect the lock mechanism itself. Now, I have a gun safe from Zanotti Armor and it just happens to have a mechanical lock mechanism, which is really nice. I don't have to worry about it being damaged by an EMP. But many modern gun safes have digital locks on them and those electronics in theory could be damaged by an EMP. And so what you'd like to do is put some kind of protection over that lock mechanism. All right, the second thing we want to look at is how you better seal up the, the gun safe itself to help protect things inside. So those might be like, you know, red dots or other electro optics or anything else in there that might be electronic. So what we'll talk about is how you apply a conductive gasket around the inside of the gun safe um, to offer a much tighter RF seal so that the MP energy can't, can't squeeze in, all right? So the, the seal, of course, is, is plenty thick enough to block EMP energy or any RF energy, but what happens is the energy squeezes in right along the seams of the door and gets in pretty efficiently, all right? So we're gonna seal that up with a conductive gasket. I'll show you how that's done. And then finally, for some gun safes, they have an electrical cord that comes in that might provide lighting or maybe some kind of dehumidity type, type system. And what we're going to do for that is we're going to put a broadband ferrite around the power wire. All right. And we'll talk about that uh, as our third step. All right. So let's take them one at a time. Let's start with the lock mechanism. Okay. So for the digital lock, what we want to do is we want to cover it with something conductive. Now you can go the cheap route, which is just take aluminum foil and make a little hat for it and put over it, maybe tape it down. And that will work fine. All right. It's just a little bit of a pain to take on and off if you get in and out of your safe often. So another way to do it is with a small piece of conductive cloth, right? Now you can find this at disasterrepair.com. A lot of people use this to protect generators or maybe protect their vehicles with large covers. So what we're going to do is basically just cover up the lock mechanism and use something to hold it down. Now in this case, I'm going to just use some magnets, all right? I bought some magnets at Walmart and I'll just stick them around the outside and hold it down, all right? So it'll take me just a minute. I'll go ahead and apply this so you can see what it looks like. All right, so I've gone ahead and applied the cover, just a one foot square of this conductive cloth, and I just happened to put eight large magnets around it. Now, if you want to get 20 magnets and get a much better uh, seal around it, that's fine. Obviously, this isn't perfect. There's small spaces here where RF energy could kind of squeeze in along those, those little gaps. But it ends up that it works pretty well, even with those small gaps, because you've got a very large conductive surface underneath it. So that energy doesn't travel in there very efficiently. All right. So this tends to do a, a, a good enough job for very low cost and still super convenient to take on and off. You just pull the cloth and the magnets will come right off. Right. So again, you place a one foot square of cloth around it, at least in the case of my lock, and you use some of these magnets or whatever, however else you want to seal it on there. It does a really nice job and not terribly expensive. All right. So that should help the lock to survive any kind of EMP type event where you get a really powerful burst of, of radiated energy. All right. Next, let's talk about the gasket. Okay, so again, the issue with the gun safe being a Faraday cage is that this seam around the door is going to leak RF energy in there, all right? Now, you have to have some kind of a seam. It can't seal all the way tight. My safe has these little rubber stoppers uh, all the way around the door um, so that when I seal it, you know, it seals nice and it's kind of have a nice tight seal when I lock it. You know, but there's still a small gap there, plenty big enough for RF energy, something like an EMP to squeeze in. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and apply a conductive gasket, and I'm going to choose to apply it on the inside here as opposed to the door, although you could do either one, all right? Now, I looked at the size of these, these little rubber uh, uh, stoppers there, and I found some gaskets that that basically mirror its thickness, all right? And so when it compresses, it's very similar to those gaskets compressing. Um, so what I would do for my gun safe is I would pull off these, so oh, I guess I've got about six or eight of these little tiny rubber stoppers, and I would instead put this conductive gasket on the inside here, all right? All the way around. Now I'll go ahead and zoom in. I'll go ahead and put um, some of the gasketing on so you can see what it's gonna look like when it's actually applied. Okay, so I've gone ahead and applied the gasket and I've zoomed in so you can see Basically, they just butt up against each other. So you have to go all the way around the inside of the, of the gun safe, all right, to give it this nice uh, conductive gasket seam all the way around it. All right, now again, you could do it on the inside of the door if you prefer to do it there, and that's fine. Um, but you do, And you wanna get one that's not too thick, all right, I'm sure we'll offer some at disasterpreparer.com that would fit most safes. Um, but, and you have to do it all the way around. So it's gonna take quite a bit of gasketing, but it's a one-time investment. Once you put it on here, this stuff stays on really well especially with the door being closed most of the time, it'll hold it on there nice and tight. All right, so again, you wanna make sure that you remove any kind of 
um, stoppers or anything that might interfere with this and so that the metal of the door seals nice and tight with these gaskets. I think you'll find that'll do a very good job of uh, essentially sealing up the, the gun safe uh, so that EMP energy couldn't squeeze in around the door seams. Okay, so the third protective step we're going to do is really only for gun safes that have power cords coming in them, typically in the back of the gun safe. Now it's important to understand it's not the hole in the safe that, that compromises its shielding. I could take a drill and drill a you know, an eighth inch hole through the, the door here or a quarter inch hole through the door and the shielding of the gun safe itself would not be affected hardly at all. The energy that would come in through that small hole would be very small. The problem is, is when I make a hole and then I, I put a wire through that hole, well now anything that couples onto the wire, like the EMP energy couples onto the wire, it then travels inside the gun safe and radiates around very efficiently and can cause damage, right? So it's the wire that's really the problem. And that's what we try and address, all right? Now you certainly can put a little tape around the hole and that's fine, but again, that's not gonna make much difference. What you really wanna do is you wanna take a broadband ferrite and you wanna clip it around that wire at the back of the safe or wherever the wire feeds in, just outside the gun safe, all right? Not inside, but outside. And you wanna clip it around so that that energy that couples on that wire gets suppressed by the, tr by the ferrite before it gets inside. Now you can use a, a ferrite that just fits the cord, which is fine, or you can get a big one, maybe a half inch or, or three quarter inch or even a one inch, and you can drape the, you can loop the cord through it two or three times before you click it shut, and that will even do a better job, all right? Again, so placing that broadband ferrite around the cord helps to suppress that current transient that might come in from the EMP and radiate around the inside of the, of the um, safe. Now, if there's nothing in your safe that can be damaged by an EMP, then don't worry about it, all right? But many people have electro-optics, red dots, and other things that they're worried about might be damaged by that radiating energy. And it's worth a few bucks to get a good broadband ferret and put it on that power cord. All right, so again, the three steps were cover the digital lock mechanisms, apply a gasket, a conductive gasket, all the way around the inside of the door seam. And then finally, if you have a power cord or something coming in, put a broadband ferret around that power cord. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a note and I'll do my best to answer them.